Your phone is boring, but we can make it fun real quick with some crazy accessories. Let's go! You won't believe this exists. I know I can't. We have a really flashy LED keyboard and a mouse and a kickstand for your phone. This is the kind of product a teenager who's just getting into Fortnite might want. Let's face it, mobile gaming isn't super comfortable. Using a touchscreen is nowhere near as nice as something tactile like a gamepad. Hooking this whole thing up really kills the point of using a smartphone because it's no longer portable at all. And the most important thing actually is that we can't get it to work. And look at this, the shift key is sunken in and broken. Will this look cool? I, I wouldn't recommend it. So let's move on. We're not done gaming, boys and girls. This is the MoCute, what a cute name, gamepad. And it claims to work with both iOS and Android, which is awesome. Let's shove my Surface Duo into this thing and pray that it's not going to bend it or something. Now again, playing games on a phone without any tactile feedback by just sliding your fingers around the glass isn't exactly really fun. Will this gamepad make it fun? So, ladies and gentlemen, for some reason, half the controls don't work. The thumbstick works, the rest does not. So, once again, I don't think I'm gonna be recommending any of those things. I mean, mobile gaming is, I guess, meant we play it with touch controls. Oh, this is a poor man's version of the last product. But maybe it would actually work because it's so simple. Look at this, this is a mobile joystick you're supposed to stick to your screen and hopefully get a little bit of a tactile feedback. Yeah, this is actually usable, it's not sticking very well. So I wouldn't say this would actually change anything. Just play games normally. This is way more convenient, it's not that bad, guys. You saw the last three products, I wouldn't recommend any of those. I know what you're thinking, is this all gonna be gaming related? Well, this is the last gaming related thing, I promise, let's check it out. This one's definitely the most weird and probably useless, but maybe it's gonna be the only one that actually works, so let's try it out. I know this looks like a cooler, but it's actually both a cooler and it has little controls for your phone, and I have no idea how this works. We have a really nice carrying pouch, by the way, here, so this is looking kind of more premium than the, than the other stuff. Well, definitely not anymore. Wow, what a product I have. This is so weird. How are we supposed to use this actually? Okay, we have little stretchy pieces here. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to put my phone like this. My iPhone mini is way too small for this, but we're gonna try it out anyway. So these buttons are not actually connected with your phone in any way. Okay, I'm not gonna use this piece at all, but you know what? The button actually works, look at this. Now obviously this is a terrible place for it, but when I click this, it clicks the on-screen control. So this is actually pretty cool. If you're playing a game where everything is up here, now this would make perfect sense. So this is actually one product I would probably recommend to someone. You know how everyone's talking about the Galaxy S23 Ultra and how it can take really far away zoom shots of the moon and stuff, even though they may or may not be fake? Well, my little humble iPhone here doesn't have a lot of zoom, so what if we could change that with, and I quote, the mobile phone telescope. Now this is sounding really promising, so let's check it out. Oh, this looks like serious business. So you're supposed to attach this thing to the back of your phone. This is actually universal, this is gonna work with any phone. So I've set this up properly, I think, but everything I see from it is very blurry. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look. Oh, all right, I can focus it. Yeah, you know what, it's, it's kind of distorted, but this actually kind of works. It's giving me a lot more zoom than the iPhone can normally. The quality is terrible, we have a lot of distortion and stuff, but technically, it works. I swear this has the funniest name ever. It's a mobile phone view amplifier. And what it does, it's supposed to enlarge the screen of your phone so you can actually watch something on it. How am I supposed to watch anything on this iPhone mini? I guess this is gonna help me. Let's see if it does. All right, this is feeling really cheap, which I guess shouldn't be surprising. But if it works, well, that's gonna be awesome. We have a little convex piece of plastic here that's supposed to make the phone look bigger. And the kickstand. So yeah, I always wanted to try these things. And technically, now I know it actually kind of works, but it distorts the picture so much. Nobody would want to watch anything on this. So yeah, I would not recommend buying this, even though it's pretty cool and funny. Charging your phones got to be the most boring thing in the world, but what if we can make it more fun? Well, we have a little LED charging cable here, and it's not just a normal cable, by the way. It's supposed to work with both Lightning, micro USB, and USB Type-C, meaning you should be able to use this with any phone made in the last decade. So let's see if it actually works, and most importantly, if it looks cool. Okay, cool, we have magnetic pieces that you can attach to the top of the cable. Yeah, you know what, it does the job. It's not too amazing looking, but still it works with my iPhone. Let's try it with an Android phone, just to make sure this actually is a solution for all of us who use both Lightning and micro USB. Can I charge it more conveniently this way? Let's try it out. I can, this is pretty cool actually. This is probably the best product we've seen so far on, <laughs> on this episode and it's kind of sad, but yeah. Moving on. Whoa, this is a mysterious box to say the least. 
make smoking set. Kind of a weird packaging. Oh, this is a little fake iPhone. Little fake iPhone. That's oh, this looks pretty cool. We have a little iPhone letter here, and it's actually pretty cool. It feels nice, and it's all metal, I think. Unlike the smallest smartphone we checked out a few days ago, this is not a real phone, but it's a really cool lighter. We have a little candle here. Let's try to light it. Be careful. Light. This is probably way too weak for stuff like that. I don't know if it's gonna work for smokers. You know what? I don't care. This looks really cool and I like it. All right, so a quick overview. Basically, this thing looks cool but doesn't work. Mobile gaming, better keep it touchscreen like it's supposed to be. Instead of buying a Chinese controller like this, might as well buy an Xbox wireless controller. And you know what? This little weird mobile joystick, technically, it actually works. I mean, it's just one thumbstick. I wouldn't advise anyone to buy this as well. It doesn't make much of a difference. I think next we had the telescope and <laughs> technically works, but it distorts the image so much. I wouldn't advise anyone to take pictures with this. This thing, I really don't know what to say about it. I mean, technically these things work. These are basically, basically triggers. How many games are gonna actually support this thing? All right, my favorite thing, the thing I wanted to try for years. I, again, I would never recommend anyone to buy this, but it kind of works. And my favorite part about it is that it came already broken and scratched. I think this is my favorite accessory that we looked at today because it actually solves a problem for me. Like I said, I always use iPhones, Android phones, iPads, and some of them have USB Type-C, some of them have Lightning. This solves that problem. And last but definitely not least, we have a little iPhone lighter that's pretty weak. But then again, I thought about it and it has a built-in battery and it's lighting up. Is this thing even safe? I don't know. Which one of those accessories are you most likely to try out? I think this is my favorite one of the bunch and actually the only one that actually kind of works. But yeah, you let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.